graduates of Crisfield High School and they are two recently sworn in Marine enlistee recruits who will be headed off to boot camp very shortly and so for two of our newest members soon to join the ranks of the active duty force of the United States Marine Corps. I'd like to introduce to you, Mr. Colby Harris. Colby, come up here. And Ryan Bird. I guess the Marines promised them an easy life, easy days at boot camp and an opportunity to see the world. I remember hearing those same words many years ago. And boys, it's partially true. Congratulations and best of luck to you and thank you for representing Crisfield and the United States of America. individuals or business owners that has helped the work, railway people, machine shops, crab pot maker. We gave it one year to Donnie Brinsville who had made almost 500,000 crab pots. So that's the information I wanted to pass on. Thank goodness we got another festival. We've enjoyed these for many a year and hopefully they continue. 
So at this time, the first one that I want to present an award to, which we always do first, is the Associate Award. And, and our honorees this year happen to be two brothers, one from Yule and one from Towson, and they've been operating a freight business and passenger business from Smith Island to Crisville since 1986. So that's 36 years. And they've hauled soft crib, soft crib boxes, pump parts, motor parts, bait, excuse me, everything for 36 years. So it's a pleasure for me to give these associate awards this year to the two brothers. One owns Captain Jason and the other one owns Captain Jason too. And it's uh, Terry and Larry Larry. Okay, 2022, Mr. Robert Hess, boat name, Miss Ann, Somerset County, harvesting crabs and oysters for 43 years, inducted May 29th, 2022. Congratulations, sir. Hi, right, Mr. Hess, thank you. This is my 12th opportunity to, to induct uh, the Waterman's uh, Hall of Fame employee, our uh, recipients, and uh, it's quite an honor for this group tonight, and I, I congratulate uh, Larry and Terry for their recognition. Well deserved. Uh, on behalf, by the authority invested in me as representative of Somerset County and the Maryland House of Delegates, and that authority, it is my pleasure to induct you, uh, Robert Hess, into the Waterman's Hall of Fame for 2022. Thank you. Uh, Congressman Harris has a resolution here from the uh, House of Representatives to present to these recipients. Thank you. It's a certificate of special congressional recognition in recognition of your induction into the Crisville Waterman's Hall of Fame. Congratulations. Thank you, Andy, for being here. Okay, our next inductee, it's my pleasure to name Mr. Johnny Connor of Crisfield. He's in the next uh, one up, will be the Waterman's Hall of Fame for 2022. Johnny Connor, boat, see you later, Crisfield. Harvesting crabs and oysters for 48 years, inducted May 29th, 2022. Mr. Connor, what don't you like about the crab and the oyster? No crabs right now. <laughs> that pretty much sums it up. Yes, sir. Congratulations. 
congratulations. Again, it is my honor by the authority invested in me as a representative of Somerset County and the Maryland House of Delegates to induct you this Johnny Connor into the uh, Waterman's Hall of Fame for 2022. Congratulations. And uh, Johnny, just a certificate for you also in recognition of your induction. Congratulations. It's my pleasure now to introduce and induct me to the Hall of Fame, <clears throat> Mr. Dana Dyes of Tangier, Waterman's Hall of Fame of 2022, Dana Dyes, Boat Krista Marie, Tangier Island, harvesting crabs, oysters for 50 years, inducted May 29th, 2022. And Mr. Dyes, you get that same question. Well, I don't like my oysters in the wintertime because when it's freezing and blowing, three days, I like, I like to do it. Well, we thank you for all you do. Thank you. Mr. Dyes, it, again, it is uh, by the authority invested in me as a representative of Somerset County, Maryland House of Delegates. I induct you today into the Maryland or the Chrisfield Waterman's Hall of Fame for 2022. And thank you so much for your service. Mr. Dyes, a certificate of special congressional recognition for your induction to the Chrisfield Hall of Fame. Congratulations on your 50 years. It is now my pleasure for the inductee named Mr. Billy Clayton Jr. of Smith Island, the Waterman's Hall of Fame 2022. Mr. Billy Clayton Jr., boat Miss Francis, Smith Island, harvesting crabs and oysters for 54 years, inducted in May 29th, 2022. And if you would give us a good answer for that question. I just hate to get it ordered and up in healthy enough to do it all these years. Well, amen to that. Congratulations, sir. Mr. Clayton, congratulations. Again, on the, by the authority invested in me as the representative for Somerset County, Maryland House of Delegates, uh, I induct you into the Chrisfield Waterman's Hall of Fame for 2022. A job well done, and uh, keep up the good work. These crabs will come along here as well. <laughs> Thank you, and again, Mr. Clayton, a certificate of congressional recognition for your induction to the uh, Waterman's Hall of Fame. I want to thank all the Watermen and the Laird brothers for being part of a wonderful Eastern Shore heritage. Thank you. Thank you. Well, it's wonderful to be here. I've been here when it's a thunderstorm threatening. It had already been, and this, that, and the other. I've been here when it's cold <laughs> and when it's blowing. And what a beautiful day we have here today. We don't have a northeaster that we're fighting, and uh, we got beautiful skies. Enjoy the crabs, and uh, uh, good luck. Let's have a great summer. And uh, I thank the congressman for being here with us and, and the work that these gentlemen do and the heritage they give us and the work ethic they give us. And let's, t let's take notice of it and, uh, and repeat it. Thank you. Yeah, Mr. Paul, I want you to stand right out here for me. Come on out here, buddy. We've got a little something for you, I understand, and you probably don't know about this because you didn't brief us on it. <laughs> it's, it's a big, it must be really a big surprise because it's taking this long to get it up here. Yeah, here we go. 
All right. Yep. I'm going to turn it over. I'm going to turn it over to the boss here. Well, thank you very much, and thank thank you everybody here today. Again, it's wonderful to celebrate uh, this heritage on the Eastern Shore, and, and I want to thank uh, I want to thank you all for for the job you did today, and especially our leader here, who's uh, kept up the tradition, uh, brought the festival back, and uh, hope to see you next year on the 30th, and uh, we'll, we'll go for more than 100. So there's a certificate for you from the House of Representatives. I appreciate it very much. Everyone have a great time. Okay, and now... And, uh, and as we have in the last past years, we're going to have uh, what we call a closing waterman's prayer. And uh, Reverend Jim Riley couldn't make it today, but uh, taking his place is Asbury Church's pastor, uh, Reverend Bert Jacob. So, Pastor, I'm turning it over to you. Thank you, Paul. The only thing more dangerous than handing a microphone to a politician is to hand it to a preacher. <laughs> so uh, I'll try to keep this short. But my name is uh, Reverend Bert Jica, and I'm serving at Asbury Mariners United Methodist Church. And shout out to my parishioners there. And for those of you who aren't coming, you're invited to come. And uh, it's glad to, I'm glad to be here and learn a new vocabulary while I'm here. And, uh, the first thing I learned was a, I'm a come here. And uh, I didn't think I'd ever be in this position until I was here about 25 or 50 years. But uh, it's a great honor for me. And uh, you watermen, you have a great culture, uh, the, the freedom, uh, the independence. But also I wanted to emphasize that you bring a lot of joy into people's lives. Uh, as people sit down everywhere all over the the eastern shore and I guess those people on the western shore I don't know but people sit down and they have uh, enjoyment they're having their picnics they're having their family gatherings around that seafood and I think there's a beatitude which says blessed are those who give seafood to their pastors I, I'm not sure what it's written <laughs> the whole culture here and uh, it, it's a great thing that we provide to this area of the country and to the world uh, about the whole eastern shore especially here in Crisfield the, the crab capital of the world where are the crabs gentlemen so we're, we're gonna have to have a special church service for to bring the crabs back so it's a great a privilege to be here and uh, let, let's close with a prayer which uh, Reverend Jim has used in the past. From Genesis 1 we read these words. And God said, let the waters swarm with fish and other life. Let the skies be filled with birds of every kind. So God created great sea creatures and every sort of fish and every kind of bird. And God saw that it was good. Almighty Creator, we pause to remember those who have worked on these waters, and we think of the ones who are working now. We pray that they will always see the beauty of your great gift, and from their work and attention, be rewarded from your bounty. In Christ's name we pray. Amen. Have a great rest of the day.